Hey everyone, today we're going to tackle a word problem that's all about place value, and I'm going to walk you through exactly what goes through my head when I'm solving a problem. So let's work it out. Okay, so here's what I like to do. I like to start by reading the word problem through once just to get some better understanding of what we're doing. It says, in which number does the digit five have a value 100 times than it does in the number 625? Okay, and then I see those answer choices down there, and I see that all of them have a five somewhere in them, so they all have that in common. Now, I'm gonna kind of think a little bit more about what that problem is all about. So I have a digit that I'm gonna be looking for, and I need to be doing 100 times that amount. So that helps me to understand the problem a little bit better. So I'm gonna highlight some of those things. So the digit five and the 100 times. And then I also think that the number 625 is gonna be super important. So I'm gonna highlight that too. Okay, now I'm gonna read those answer choices a little bit more thoroughly. So A is 4,359, B is 5,108, C is 3,523, and D is 4,075. Okay, so now I'm gonna start working through the problem a little bit more on the whiteboard. Okay, so now we're over. <clears throat> okay, so now let's look at the important parts of the problem. So we're looking at the digit five and we want to know a number that is 100 times the value of that five in 625. So what I like to think about first is just study this five a little bit more. What place is that five in? You got it, it's in the ones. So that's just worth five. Think about five ones is just five. And so now let's take a look at some of the answer choices and really understand what they all mean. So the first one, A, is 4,359. Let's look at, let's study that five. It'd be a really good idea to underline all of the fives in the problem and study them. So what place is that five in? Okay, it's the tens. So then how much is this worth? Five tens is worth 50. So what do you think? Is five and 50, is that 100 times? Okay, no, it is not. So let's get rid of that choice. And let's look at the next one. Okay, we've got B is 5,108. Let's underline that five and study it a little bit. What place is that in? You're right, the thousands. I'm gonna abbreviate that. And so how much is five in the thousands worth? Okay, 5,000. So is 5,000 a good amount? Is that 100 times the digit in 625? Okay, no, that is too big. So let's not pick B. Let's look at C now. 3,523. <clears throat> Again, we're going to underline that, study it a little bit. What place is that in, the five? Okay, you got it, it's in the hundreds. And so how much is a five in the hundreds worth? Okay, 500, so what do you think? Is that 100 times just five? Okay, yes it is. So I think we're probably gonna go with C but let's double check choice D just to make sure we didn't make a mistake. Sometimes that can happen and then it's always good to go ahead and check all the choices. 
So let's study this five. What place is that five in? Okay, the ones also. So that one seems a little bit suspicious. They look the same. So how much is a five in the ones place worth? Okay, it's just worth five. And that would not be uh, 100 times it's the same. So we can't choose that one. So we go with C. Okay, great job working it out with me.